What up brothers, it's Club King returning for a cheeky little unboxing video. I know a lot of you guys know I've got this figure coming and you're probably buzzing to see it as much as I am. I can't wait to get it opened up, posed up, get his accessories out and have a really good look. I'm hoping I won't be too long with the review, but I just thought it's still worth doing the unboxing. Give you guys an initial look and hear my early thoughts. I know you don't want to stare at the box for 20 minutes, so what I'm going to do is just do a quick thank you and I'll explain why. Just five guys go by the name of Zombie Guy 13, Brooklyn Wolf X, Rogers 985, Guyver 1, and Tin Man 2000. Those who don't know them, guys, they're actually guys on Sideshow Freaks. An early review of this figure went up, I think it was yesterday afternoon, and I was following the comments on Sideshow Freaks. And although they had a review to watch, a lot of the guys were still saying, When's Clippers review coming? Because he'll, he'll do it right for us, so to speak. So I thought I'd give them guys a name check because it is nice to be liked and nice to feel wanted. And uh, I was just following their thread last night and I find it quite funny. So massive shout out to you guys. There you go. I made you famous on a Thursday afternoon. How nice of me is it that? Very nice. Anyway, let's crack this bitch open and have a good look inside. So in we go. You see you've got the instruction sheet, which is uh, definitely worth a read on this because it's a totally new style of body. And it will tell you how it articulates, which is quite impressive. Let's move down. So you've got the two spare pair of eyes, the two spare mouth plates, which when you see them in the box does look like a scene from Saw, something like that. It's fucking weird. But I will say, you can tell that every part of it is our flex, so that is a strong point. The tool for swapping the bits in and out, which you'll see in the review. Some wrist pegs, moving across to the tray. I did get the full version, so I've got some hands, grenade launcher, an open and closed grenade, sort of attachments for the grappling gun, other attachments, the bent cord, straight cord, the branding iron, four batarangs, the sniper rifle, and the tech cowl which is a nice inclusion, although I'll make it clear from the start, I didn't really want it too much, but I'll probably talk about that in the review. Then what you've come to see, see the stand, as we move up, get a nice look at the cheeky little bat. Nice and close. And then get in focus, you bitch. Looking sweet, feeling sweet, and acting sweet. I don't normally do this in a uh, unboxing video, but I'm actually going to put it on my mini tripod and I'm just going to show you how the figure moves a little bit just to put a few of you guys' minds at ease because you're probably thinking it's not articulated or does it do this, does it do that? So, what I'm basically going to do is pick up some of the mistakes on one of the reviews that I've seen of the last day. Things he should have told you, I just do them nice and fast, but I don't want to piss all over my own review. Hey guys, so I want to do this pretty quick, but I also want you to get a good look at the figure. So, I'm just going to quickly do a articulation test. The head will come right down, go right up. The cape is attached to the underside of the head, the shoulders will go right up to there and obviously rotate at the upper bicep, click back down. His shoulders do feel big and bulky and very sturdy, so that's good. The articulation, there is a point at the top that will bend and then a lower section so you can get his arm somewhere there and it will hold. Quickly talking about the cape. It is a faux leather cape, it does look quite nice. I'm gonna have to get some water treatment, I'm guessing, to get the uh, sort of the awkward shape out of it. And from the front to about there, there is a wire in it, so you can adjust it and decide how it's gonna be over his shoulder. But the wire don't go right down through the cape. So there is that, that's uh, what I wanna mention. The booklet says his belt will pop off. Why you would wanna do that, I don't know, but you basically, it's at this side, pops off like that and you can open it. So there is that. Another one that I saw a lot of questions and I'll turn it to the side to do. Bear with me. Ab section is just unreal. 
reverse crunch you can get right back like so he stood up at that look at what his abs do and then you can crunch him and I look forward and his abs tighten right up I've never seen a body work like that and it is a right touch particularly on this figure his legs do look short on some pictures and I will say that his groin actually ends up just above my thumb uh, but his pants sort of come down probably a centimetre so it's going to take some foot sim way to push his trousers right up into there so you get a longer looking leg and more natural look obviously by the time I've reviewed it it will be looking beastly Inside the gauntlet, there is some plastic wraps. There, as you can see. Inside the boots, there's some plastic wraps. So I'm gonna take them off. Um, have a look at the articulation. And then just basically get ready for the big review. I will say I'll make it interactive. So if you can think of anything you wanna ask me before this review goes up, please do so, I'll try and help. Uh, but that's an unboxing done. I'll crack on and get some review footage.